Your efforts have made Kenya the first African country to conduct such an extensive survey without tapping into any foreign expertise. Very proud of you. As some of you will recall, in 2018, we established the JNAM team as a multi-agency project born out of the compelling need to have current, comprehensive, geospatial data covering our entire country. The first part of the project, the team has been able to map out a wide range of resources, including base metals, coal, gemstones, geothermal spots, forest cover, water bodies, precious metals, and rare earth elements. And with an inventory of what we hold, state actions, as well as investment, can now guide informed and sustainable exploitation of our natural resources, particularly through manufacturing and industrialization, both of which are a key plank of our Vision 2030. This will not only spur economic growth and create more job opportunities for our young people, but it will also bring about transparency. Oh, well, you know, for a very long time, our country has been exploited. We know not what they remove from our land. They tell us they're taking them to foreign labs to test. 90% of what they're taking is materials and wealth that we never see back. That's a lot in history. And we are able to retain the wealth that we have for the development of our country. The output maps have already been an aid to very many ministries, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Education in mapping out schools countrywide. They have helped us remove widespread corruption that used to exist. We now know where the schools are, how many students in each school, are able to give capitation on the basis of facts, not stories by principles. We're also able to identify road reserves, preventing illegal structures that then make it very expensive once road construction begins because land that had been set aside as road reserve has been grabbed. This helped us map our various electricity meters and transformers. And that has also resulted in many people who had illegal connections or were not paying for electricity. And we have seen an increase also in revenues at Kenya Power and Lighting as a result now of the transparency created by the system and the maps that you have done for us. The Kenya Forestry Service has also benefited out of the mapping of our forest cover our tree cover, being able to identify encroached areas and take early enough action. The team has also successfully developed a current cadastre for Nairobi County, which has subsequently led to vital identification of public lands, such as green spaces, health facilities, schools, roads, road reserves, airport facilities, and areas earmarked for social amenities, thus helping us secure them from encroachment and grabbing. And overall, with the updated data sets generated as part of this survey, the national and county governments, as well as our private sectors, our learning institutions, and all stakeholders are now better positioned to plan and implement their development programs. So ladies and gentlemen, the remarkable nature of this survey I also believe is further exemplified by the production of our new topographical maps for the whole country, and this done at minimal cost. The fourth limb, which was also eloquently demonstrated in some of the booths that we went around, 
The team has also developed several online applications. We saw Taifa Pay, which is used to collect government revenues, especially here in Nairobi. And what has this done? It has increased transparency, accountability in government, and also in private dealings. The Nairobi revenue system has also greatly supported the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, the Kenya Revenue Authority, in aligning their revenue collection systems. For the first time, we have a, a system fully owned by Kenya, and there is no need for all these private systems that are out there that have a back door. Nasikia inaitwa mulango ya nyuma, pale ambapo wengine wako na fungua sijui hii fungua inafungua namna gani. And stealing half the money. And this now is something that will be a thing of the past, and I really hope and pray that all government institutions, all government bodies, national and county, will use this system and ensure that we secure our resources once again for the development of this land. We have also seen the land management system under Ardisasa. This is something that we launched a few months back. And today we can see that whereas in the past it took almost six months to do a single land transaction, this has now been reduced to 48 hours using a system developed by you, developed by Kenyans, and this is something we're very proud of. Similarly, <laughs> instead of taking one to three months to do a land search, the system now gives you a land search result in three to five minutes. This will go a long way towards improving the ease of doing business in our country, making ourselves that much more attractive destination for business and thereby creating opportunity for you more young people to get decent jobs in our country. It is my hope that this will move to cover all counties to ensure that all records related to land can be accessible by all landowners. To date so far, here in Nairobi, we have managed to fully digitize 232,000 land parcels in Nairobi that have over 32 million documents across nine registration regimes with the oldest document dating back to 1905. So today I urge all Kenyans to embrace Alvi Sasa that has established a very clear, transparent, very affordable, an efficient land information management system. We have also seen that you have gone a step further and developed more vibrant applications like the National Addressing System of Kenya, a homegrown door-to-door -door address and reference system that will vastly improve e-commerce as well as the availability of emergency services across the city of Nairobi. And this, I hope, is something that will be transplanted in all counties of our republic. We have also developed the Kenya National Spatial Data Infrastructure for spatial discovery, elevation applications within all levels of government, commercial sectors, non-profitable sectors, academia, and citizens in general. But also the on online mining cadaster that has been developed to improve mining dealerships and right processes will also greatly boost revenue collection within the mining sector and also improve investments in that sector. These are some of the transformations that will be occasioned by the works that you have done, helping us to realize a much better, faster way of not only delivering public services, but of making it easier for people to do business. A decade ago, it was not possible to initiate any government services by digital means. But today, for many government services, these are only a click away. And what does this prove? It proves that if we have trust and confidence in our young people, as drivers of the transformation and innovation, we can make Kenya great. I want to thank you all once again.